Hi YouTube watchers and subscribers from SlideNerd, this is Vives over here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the frame layout in Android. If you guys are beginners, you have seen the other layouts in action so far. The frame layout is completely different from any other layout that you guys have seen so far. Now why so? Well, because you can add many views or view groups to the frame layout just like you do in the other layouts. But unlike the others that you have been seeing so far, the frame layout simply stacks the views on top of each other. That means if you add two buttons, one button is going to be on top of the other button on the frame layout. Now why the hell would the layout do that? Well, because you want to make only one of the views visible at a given time. And you want to ensure that the other views are hidden from the user's sight. Now why and how we can use this? Well, if you guys remember ebooks and other kind of apps, you can have one page visible at a time while the other pages are invisible, right? And that is the reason why you have the frame layout in Android. You can control which view or view group should be shown to the user at a given point in time. And that can be written by using certain code. We are going to see in the Android Studio how to write code for that. The view is always drawn to the top left corner by default. And you can control where it is drawn by using this Android layout gravity attribute. Now if you guys don't know the use of this attribute, don't worry too much about it. I have shown a video in my playlist where I talk about the Android layout gravity in detail. So let's just, uh, let me just show you a simple uh, plain example of how a frame layout actually works. So here I have my empty screen over here which is containing my frame layout. Now what I have is I have a linear layout inside that contains an edit text and a button that says OK. Now let's say I click this button OK. I want to have another linear layout that contains this image view inside. So you guys getting the point right. You have two view groups which are your two different linear layouts. And you only want one of the linear layouts to be visible at a given time. And the other one should be invisible. And when the user does something with the first one, you want to show the second one. And that is the reason why we use frame layouts. So there's one more thing before we start and jump into Android Studio. The size of the frame layout is the size of the largest view contained inside. So what the, do I mean by that? Well, take a look. Here I have two images stacked on top of each other. As you guys can obviously notice, the image behind which is the mobile phone is higher in resolution. And this Android icon uh, which I have in the foreground is actually an icon with a very small resolution. So when you have a situation like this, the size of the frame layout is going to be the size of the largest image inside. That is the phone image. And that is the reason why your Android icon appears stretched. As you guys can see, you can see this pixelated effect indicating that this icon has been stretched beyond measure. So when you are making uh, images inside frame layout, you have to keep this in mind and take care that your images don't look ugly simply because they are stretched. So let's actually jump into Android Studio and figure out how to use the frame layout in a program. Alright folks, I'm using Android Studio over here. The first step is to create a project. I'll go to File, I'll say New Project. Application name, I'll call it Frame Layout Test. Package name, I'm gonna give Slidener.Wibs as the package. Minimum required SDK, I'm gonna select Ice Cream Sandwich. and no need for a custom launcher icon. I'm gonna click next, next and finish. Alright, so at this point my frame layout test project has been created. You can see the contents of the project by maximizing this screen on the left. And then again click on this minus sign over here. And then as you guys can see there's a project over here, frame layout test. Inside which we have our source folder and our RES and our Java packages, right? Now this is the code which is our main activity over here that I'm going to open and then you can go to res layout and activity underscore main dot xml which contains the appearance of our project. So there you go. So let me go to the text part and make some changes first. Here we have a relative layout. Let me remove that and put a frame layout first by simply saying frame over here at the top and a frame at the bottom. Let me remove this text view so that we can add our image views here. Alright, so at this point we have a blank frame layout as per our project. Let me go to the design part, add two different images. But before that, I actually need to bring two images inside my project. For that, 
I'm gonna go to RES right click over here click new click package I'm gonna make a folder called drawable inside which my images will be stored so click OK and there you go the folder is there so let me actually copy the two images from my clipboard or my desktop into this folder alright so at this point I have the two images copied on my clipboard I'm gonna right click on the drawable folder and I'm gonna say paste well I should use the control V directly but never mind click OK and there you go P2 and P3 these are the two images that I plan to use so now here let me add the two images uh, by using an image view by saying uh, dragging the image view inside the screen that's one and let me drag it another time and that's two now as you guys can see they are overlapping on top of each other and that is the reason why you don't see two points right so let's go to text view over here and control our source by saying src at the rate drawable need to give the location of where the image is for that I'm gonna say at the rate drawable slash p2 for the first image and I'll copy paste the same thing and make it p3 for the second image so we are pointing to these two images inside the drawable folder by specifying the Android source so at this point everything is ready but let us make one of the image views uh, invisible I'm gonna go to the second one and I'm gonna say visibility I'm gonna say gone over here so that makes the first image visible as you guys can see over here so now what I need to do is when I click on the first image the first image disappears and the second image appears and when I click on the second image that disappears and the first image appears so let me uh, go ahead and code and do this so here I'm back in code let me give IDs to both of them this image view image view 2 which has been, uh, the IDs have been given automatically now I need to use this Android ID attribute so that I can bring this image view from XML to Java code over here so first let us remove this uh, menu I'm gonna say image view i1 comma i2 that's not a good name so uh, here at this point you're you're getting an error saying what is this image you cannot resolve the symbol uh, don't worry too much about it you have not imported it yet, and that is why you're seeing this error so press alt enter at this point you'll say import class and there you go as you guys can maximize this at the top and you can see android uh, dot widget dot image you imported over here all right bring the image use from our xml into the java code so for that i'm gonna go here and initialize both of them by something like this i'll say i1 i'll say i1 equals to i'll use this method called find view by id that enables me to bring the image view from xml into java so i need to pass the id if you guys remember r dot id dot image view and this is gonna exactly link my image view from xml because of this id that i have given over here which is id at the rate image view this id is a way i call it here in java all right so now here there's an error saying incompatible types simple just press alt enter and cast android to whatever the option was saying right the first option which was there and now i need to simply copy paste this for the second image view over here i'll say i2 and this time i want image view 2 inside my code so i'm gonna say i2 equals to blah 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 so now at this point everything is actually ready now we just need to do one thing we need to make sure that when i1 is clicked it disappears and i2 appears right for that we need to actually have an on click listener if you guys remember so for that i'm gonna say at in the activity i'm gonna implement my on click listener which is view dot on click listener at this point there's gonna be an error because we have not implemented the method again press alt enter over here as you guys can see it says implement methods so let's go ahead and do that by saying implement methods on click click ok and there our method is there so now i need to add the listeners to my image views that is i1 and i2 i'm gonna say i1 dot set so now remember we need to pass the name of the class which is implementing on click listener and that would be actually main activity which is our class right so i'm gonna simply say this over here point to main activity and the same thing I'm gonna do for i2 at the bottom so at this point we have done everything and now what happens is when the images are clicked this method will be called public void on click now here we need to distinguish which image view was clicked whether it was the first one or it was the second one so now for that I'm gonna write code over here now this view which is inside the parameter list is nothing but the name of that view which was clicked so for that I'm gonna say if view 
dot get id so what this method is simply doing is passing the name of the view which was clicked right so i'm gonna get the id and compare it by saying equals equals r dot id dot image view this means the first image was clicked otherwise well you know what the second image was clicked all right so this is for the first image so when the first image is clicked we need to dis make it disappear and make the second one appear for that i'm gonna say ivan dot set visibility i'm gonna say view dot gone and then i2 dot set visibility view dot visible so make the first image disappear and make the second image appear right and that's exactly what i'm doing over here so let me actually reverse the order of the two things so here in the second part in the else part when is this else part triggered it is triggered when your i2 image is clicked right and that that time that is the second image is clicked so you want to make the second image disappear and the first image appear for that i'm going to say i2 so at this point everything is done so let's actually go ahead and run this and test this out and see how it works once again to give you an overview here i had an image view which was nothing but my object in xml it has an id which is called id at the rate image view this uh, id is like a unique way to identify it all right here i'm simply linking this image from xml to java by using this code which is find view by id method that gives me the object all right then what i do is when i want to click that image something should happen for that i use a view dot on click listener which is nothing but an interface i have to implement it and since i implement this interface i need to override this method which is public void on click and then inside that i simply check which image is clicked if it's the first image which is clicked then i make that invisible second image as visible otherwise i make the second image invisible and first image as visible right so let's actually run this by clicking at run here at the top all right so here my emulator has started my image is loaded as you guys can see this is the first image if i click on this the second image appears exactly because this if part gets called when i click on the first image and when i click on the second image the first image appears which is inside this else part so you guys can see everything is working perfectly this is a very plain and simple image gallery i'll show you exactly how to make a complex image gallery later but for now i hope you guys have understood something out of this vid if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next vid have a nice day